So thank you for tuning in for Adulting Lessons with Hector Santi Esteban. And today we are going to talk about how to start saving money like an adult. And I think that it's so important for people to be able to realize that that is a skill that they need to have because it's not something that everybody's born with. It's not something they really teach in school and it's not something that people come out of college or people come out of the education system knowing how to do. And I think that there's really three real reasons why people need to start learning how to save money like an adult today. And I think the first thing is, is that your future, right? In order to be able to have this future that we have, that we, that we dream about, right? Where we can retire on a boat and spend time in the sun with our uh, with our significant other and you know right off into the sunset it's going to require some money and i look around and i see some people who are working in their 70 75 80 years old you know my grandma just retired i love her to death but she's 80 82 years old and she just retired and for me i i, I just I, I don't want to be able to i don't want to have to be forced to work uh, that late into my life, I want to be able to have freedom. And so if we want to be able to have that future uh, for ourselves that we dream about, it's important that we start saving today. Second thing I think about is emergencies. I cannot tell you how many times I've ran into Murphy and needed to uh, needed to, to get bailed out with uh, you know with some funds. And, and so Murphy's Law is a real thing. Things things happen, right? Shit happens. And so we want to be able to be ready for it. And what I've found is there's some statistic where it's the average uh, emergency is usually under a thousand dollars. And so most people, most emergencies aren't that catastrophic. However, if someone doesn't have an extra thousand dollars lying around, it could be really detrimental to them, their sanity, their finances, their livelihood. So being able to save for emergencies, I think is really important too. And the last thing that I wrote down was just cool shit, right? Being able to save for cool shit, because one thing that you want to be able to do is to be able to start saving so you can spend money on things like a vacation. You can spend money on things like nice clothes or new shoes or a nice watch and not necessarily uh, feel bad about it. So saving is going to be able to do that for you as well. And so I think that there's three things that you can do uh, or really what it looks like, right? And really saving like an adult, it looks like three things. And the first thing is it's a habit, right? Adults, they save money consistently. It's not something that they do on a, on a, on a, monthly basis or even a yearly basis or when they feel like it, it's something that they do consistently, ideally on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. Every time you're getting a paycheck, you should be saving money. It should be a habit, right? The second thing that it really it looks like is it looks like building net worth, right? I find that a lot of people, they, they have a net worth that plateaus. I talk to a lot of adults where their net worth stays the same. And so saving actually increases net worth on a weekly basis. And it's really cool when you, 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 know, you start to look at your bank account or your savings account or your retirement accounts or your funds, your mutual funds, and you start to see things going up and up and up and up and up. And before long, you have more money than you even realize. And so uh, I think building net worth is a huge part of saving. And then also being able to, uh, to live the lifestyle that, that you want and, and being able to have the things that you want is, is a huge part. So if you want to get started saving like an adult, there's three things that you can do. The first thing is you got to create an income. Got to create an income. You got to get a job. You got to start selling something. You got to start doing something for somebody. You got to provide some service, some value to the world, but you got to create an income because it's really hard to save any money if you don't have any money coming in. Second thing that I find is really helpful is to list out all of your expenses, right? List out all the expenses and also list out the days when they are going to be charged. We are one of the first generations that has to deal with these charges getting hit all throughout the month. And so there's no sending in a check. There's no waiting uh, to send in something in the mail. A lot of times you wake up and then boom, it gets hit on your account. And so you want to know when those days are so that you can plan for them accordingly, right? So list all the, all the expenses. And the third thing is to set up some automatic savings plan. That's the easiest thing. Now, you know, you think that you're like, well, that's an easiest tip. Why didn't you say that at the beginning? But saving is 90% is psychology and 10% actual practicality, right? Uh, it's actually 90% in your attitude and 10% in your execution. So if you have the right mindset and you have the right attitude about saving, then you'll be able to do it. So set up an automatic savings plan. There's a ton of online free options that allow you to have free savings accounts and you can just every week deduct um, a little bit amount or maybe it's a percentage or whatever it is. But if you do that and you send it out every week, what you'll find is that you'll check back in two, three weeks, a month, two months, and you'll be really, really surprised by how much money you've been able to collect over that time. So hopefully this helped you out. If you want more, go to our website. It's millennialskills.com. I encourage you to just subscribe here. Find us on Facebook, Instagram. Message me if you guys have any specific questions. But thanks for coming in and learning how to adult.